Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com and for today's vlog we are in Chicago um, for David's doctor's appointment. Hey, right, we're here. Ready to go to your appointment? Yes. So we're here and checked in and we're just waiting now. So David's playing with some play-doh while we're waiting. I mean, I told him a bit too much. No, no, no. no. I think it is. It's a little one another. It's a gingerbread. It's a cool shape. Yeah. I never made this thing yet. Well, this is supposed to be. Boy is haunted. What's the cool thing about Play-Doh at the hospital, David? Yeah. It's always brand new. Always you, brand new. And you always have to keep it, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And molds we don't have. Yeah, and there are molds we don't have. <laughs> and, and different kinds of Play-Doh. Yeah, you get different cans, right? Because this is like a dark green that we don't typically have at home. That goes with these black. David just had his blood drawn and it wasn't a very pleasant experience. They had to go in both arms, but he was a trooper and made it through and he went to go pick out a toy now. Oh, and the phone, she brings it like this. Yeah, that's right. She brings your like this. Yes. You like playing with the food here, don't you, David? That's one of David's favorite things to do. But we had to take a break for a while, though. Uh, during the cold and flu season, we weren't coming to the playroom, but since that's past now, we're coming back to play over here. We're hanging out in a special play area set up for kids who've had a bone marrow transplant or who um, are having chemotherapy or um, are getting uh, blood transfusions and things like that or other infusions of um, uh, medications. So um, this is a special area that is set aside just for those kids and we appreciate it. And the reason we're playing here a little longer is because we're waiting for David's lab results to come back. And that usually takes around 45 minutes. So, I'm going to make this soup. You want to? Yes. This. Some of this in. Some of this. And the juice. I need to warm it up now. Thank you, that looks delicious. This one here, though. This, twist this way, put that, this, this way, that, that. Warming it up? Yes. yes. Put a little bit of salt. Oh, that's a good idea. Washing his hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, We're all done with David's appointment. Let's go ha, now. Ha, wouldn't you leave like to Chicago or something? Just Chicago? Like a little hour now? How you know how to drive back to home? I know exactly. Daddy knows. You want to push the button? Goodies in the front now. Oh, I don't know. I don't I think so because they didn't have anything earlier. I know. Sometimes they will place me with some, some more goodies. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That's a, that's a, that's a long one. So we're all done here um, for David's appointment and uh, his numbers, his lab results look good. 
So I will go over the hose later. Right now we're gonna head out. You excited about your new toy, David? Mm, yes. yes. What is it? Avengers. Avengers, right? You got coloring books and crayons and stickers. I wanna, I wanna put all on the front. Who is it? Who's on the front? Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, and Hawk. Very cool. Hi! Hi. Hey, sir, sweet. You guys are waiting for us? <laughs> Did I put a heat this day? No. Same as you did the car, please. And I got some more goodies in my pocket. That is water! That's water! Yeah, super cool, huh? It's water. Why don't you say water? Alright, ready to go, guys? So we are back home now and I just want to talk to you guys about David's counts today, his blood counts, and just uh, kind of show you guys what a miracle his bone marrow transplant has been. Now before I show you guys what uh, David's counts were for today, I want to show you what they were on the day I took him to the emergency room in August of 2013. On August 3rd of 2013 his white count was 3.2 and that is low. His hemoglobin was 2, and that is dangerously low. I cannot even imagine um, having a hemoglobin that low. Uh, his platelets were 6, also dangerously low. And his ANC was um, 209. Your ANC is your absolute neutrophil count, and this is also dangerously low and put him at severe risk for infection and his body not being able to fight that infection off. So this is... This was all dangerously low and horrible. And um, so we went to the hospital. David received several blood transfusions and I thought that, you know, things were going to be better. But unfortunately, um, his counts, after they came up while we were at the hospital, they actually started to go down again. These are his counts from August of 2000, August 15th of 2013. And you can see that his counts had already started to go down again. His white count was now 2.49, hemoglobin was 8.9, and um, so he had already received several blood transfusions and then his counts were going down and so David, when he was diagnosed, he was very quickly uh, transfusion dependent. Um, he needed uh, red, blood, red blood transfusions and platelet transfusions to live. Um, and so his platelets here had gone back down to 11. And um, this was a really, really difficult time in, for our family. Um, but by God's amazing grace, there was, a, there was a donor, a bone marrow donor for David. And um, after we received the devastating news that, that no one was, none of our other kids was a match for David, we found out that there was um, a match in the registry for him. And uh, that person agreed to donate, which we will be forever, and we will be forever grateful to that person and hope to actually reach out to him soon. Because of David's donor's sacrifice, he now has completely normal counts today. So today his white count was 5.94, that's totally normal. Hemoglobin um, was 13.8, normal. His platelets, 321, normal, normal. And, um, and then he had an issue with another, um, some of his other cells called um, his eosinophils, where they had been really high, and now they're back down in a normal range. And as you can see, overall, he is looking good. Um, his chemistry looks really good. So we are extremely blessed, extremely thankful um, for his awesome, awesome counts today. And more good news is that David does not have to return um, to the hospital for an appointment with his transplant doctor uh, for another six months. Unless he has some, some issues with his skin or some other um, issues with graft versus host disease and Lord willing, he, he won't. Um, as long as everything is fine um, with along those lines, he does not have to go back for six months. So we are very happy and um, just very grateful for that news today. 
As far as his graft versus host disease, he, um, like I mentioned in another video that he just gets these rashes on his like chest and stuff like that. So um, his doctor and his nurse were very happy that those are being managed with Aquaphor. And so that's, that's a good thing. And uh, you know, no drugs necessary for that. So we'll just continue to manage that with Aquaphor and we'll return to the hospital in six months. In the meantime, David gets to enjoy summer and uh, fall and, um, and it'll be winter time before he has to go back. So that's awesome news. And now I'm going to wrap up this vlog right here, guys. But um, do check out my channel tomorrow. Uh, well, the day after this vlog is posted because we are going to be going to a Make-A-Wish event tomorrow. Um, in Chicago and then uh, tomorrow night we're going to um, medieval times so that's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to vlog both of those events and I'm going to share them with you so I hope you're having a good day and I will see you later bye bye do you have a good appointment today David yeah yeah and you got two shots right uh-huh yeah, because they... Right there? And right here? Yeah, they couldn't get blood out of the... Right, well, they, they got it, but it was went, coming out. This one went slow, this one went faster. Yeah, they had some issues. They couldn't get enough out of the right arm, so they had to okay, go into the, the left. Toy got. You got a toy, yes, for doing such a good job, right? And being so brave. Mm -hmm. Didn't even cry, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's Avengers. An Avengers toy. That is super cool. Well, what it, what's in there? Show me, show me what's inside. Crayons. Crayons, right, and a coloring book. Oh. There's some activity too. Yes. It's probably going to be on the next page. No, oh. not that. I'll show you how the activity looks. Or there. All that. I know. Here's an activity. Ooh, that looks like fun. That is looks. That looks like a lot of fun. That's cool. And what else? Do, what else is in there? In your box. That's some more stuff. Another activity book. Yeah. It might be not the same because mm -hmm. it's not the same color, and Thor's not doing that same thing. No, they're probably different. Yeah, they're probably Captain different. Captain America's not doing nothing. Hope's not right there. No, they're, I'm sure they're a little different. <laughs> so inside. here's a different book. This time the, the fun stuff in two. It was use your uh, cap, my uh, saw. Mm. Pretty sure there's an activity. Oh yeah, mm. it is. Yep. And then what else did you get in your box? So you got those two books, coloring books and activity books. Wait, I'll put this under here so this can go first. And I got a little book. Ah, yes, and then that one comes with stickers, right? Uh huh. Those are super cool. And what else did you get? What's the last thing that's in there? Uh, get this off. Coloring book. And it comes with crayons. That is so neat. And then when's your next appointment, David? When it's snowing. Yes, when it's snowing. We're very excited about that, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do something now. Now, where is that? I'm going to come. Oh, good. You guys wet? Yep. Here's yellow. Yes, yellow. Here's blue. Yep. And the last 
one is green. That's correct. Ta-da! Finished it. Good job. Finished this part. Now we need to do this part. It is there a little bit. Did it. So, bye. Bye.